I just turned 14 and my coach, my father, and myself all really felt that there were certain glaring deficiencies in my game, such as movement, point construction. I felt I lacked a little bit. I just hit the ball hard all over the court. And also, I probably needed to play with a little bit more margin growing up indoors on, uh, on hard court. Uh, it wasn't as necessary to play with a lot of spin. And, and obviously, clay court tennis highlights those things, you know, movement, point construction, and spin on the shots. It's all really important. So we thought about either going to, to Spain or Argentina. Argentina won out because in Spain it was going to be cold during the winter and Argentina was going to be warm. It was their summer. So like a bird, I went down south. <laughs> I was originally only supposed to stay for three months and I felt it was such a benefit to my game. And I ended up staying for five months for the first time and I just improved so much. Had a lot of fun training and um, I was down there as my home base of training for two and a half years. The biggest thing for me, what I thought was the coolest, was that there were so many good players located in Buenos Aires where I was training, you know, guys from all the way from one point to players who were top 100, and I got to play with all those players. I got to really see what it was like to train as a professional because there I was training with guys who were already professional, you know. Um, I had the same fitness coach as Diego Schwartzman. I went to the same academy as him. So I got to see him train and how he worked really hard. And there were obviously other players too, Guido Pela, uh, Zabachos. So I got to see you know, how guys trained and the intensity they put in. And I think that's something that always stuck with me throughout all my years was how hard they worked. And I always tried to incorporate that into my own game, into my own life. So that was very motivating, inspiring for me at that time.